With season two slated to start airing early next year, Beastars is one anime many people are looking forward to for many reasons. The first season captivated many with its interesting character dynamics, distinct world building, and its cutting edge CGI from the studio that brought you Land of the Lustrous, Orange. I think I speak for many by saying we can't wait for Beastars season two. So to help the transition from season one to season two, I put together a video for you and really myself as well to give you guys a catch up and refresher on Star Season 1. This isn't an in-depth analysis video, but something to give you guys an idea of the bigger picture of Beastars because you never know. You may be strapped for time, or you could be lost, or maybe you just watched it when it released and find this video easier to watch than watching the whole series again. So be sure to subscribe and ring the bell, help this channel get noticed by the algorithm by liking the video and leaving a comment. Either way, I'm here to help you out. This is everything you need to know about Beastars before Season 2. Let's jump right in, shall we? Beastars is split up into arcs as is any other series. So we'll be dividing this video up by arcs starting with the Drama Club arc. This arc is primarily to introduce you to the characters, settings, and the motivations of said characters. The main setup for Beastars is the death of one of the Drama Club's own, Tim. As news quickly spreads of a herbivore named Tim's death, speculation runs rampant. Was it the carnivores that shared the drama club with Tim that did it? Enter Lagoshi, our main character of the series and a proud wolf, except he isn't proud. He's more like a wimp if you ask other people about him. While wolves are supposed to be a proud race of carnivores, Lagoshi is in reality a shy wolf that can never harm a fly. This goes completely against what people think of in regards to his race. But even so, gossip swirls Lagoshi and people to think he is the one who murdered Tim. Els is one of those people who thinks she is Lagoshi's next victim. And on the way home, Els is confronted by Lagoshi and is in a state of panic and takes out a pair of scissors to defend herself. But in reality, Lagoshi just wanted to give Els a love letter written by Tim before his murder that he had waited to give Els. Of course, this is normal for Lagoshi. Everyone sees him as a proud carnivore ready to kill. But in reality, he's just a dude with some self-esteem issues. But things aren't easy for our other main characters in Beastars. For example, Haru, a white dwarf rabbit. She is ostracized and bullied by her classmates. Much like Lagoshi, there are nasty rumors about her circulating around school as well. So instead of dealing with people, she likes to tend to the school garden as a way to relax and escape the people who hate or just don't understand her. Whether it be her mattress being thrown out of her window or a bucket of water being poured on her, Haru's life is not made easy by the people around her. Plus, some of the rumors going around is that she's sleeping with people, which has harmed her reputation greatly. But Haru questions herself as the rumors are true, and she does sleep with others. Though, this poses a question to Haru, where she feels like she can't live without that interaction in life. But, every man she's ever been with only sees her as one thing, a one-night stand or a way to lose their virginity and have a good time. But, late one night, Haru is out and walks past Lagoshi, and this makes his instincts go into overdrive, and he chases after Haru and catches her. Now, struggling to eat Haru and give in to his beastly desires, or continue to resist and suppress his carnal desires, Lagoshi seems like he is about to give in as he goes down to bite on Haru. But someone calls out, and Haru escapes though badly injuring her arm in the escape due to Lagoshi's claws. This is one of the main conflicts of Lagoshi's character. Throughout the series, he is constantly fighting the apex predator within himself. Like a drug addict recovering from addiction, that person will always be addicted to drugs. No matter how many decades, he remains clean. All it takes is one stumble, and Lagoshi, like a recovering heroin addict, can fall to his predatory desires. The next day, this leads Lagoshi to become depressed over his actions. Why did he want to take Haru that night and eat her? The instincts that should make this wolf proud like any other wolf is the instinct which makes himself ashamed to be a wolf in the first place. This attitude draws the ire of Lewis and the next B-Star, a coveted title amongst the school and drama club. Lewis believes that Lagoshi should give in to his desires and become a proud wolf that takes no guff from others. That he should stand up for himself and not be afraid to fight back as cowering away would be a disrespectful thing to his species and the others. Lewis is an extremely important character in Beastars as he is one of the main proponents of Lagoshi becoming more beastly, but as well his motivations make it clear as to why he would want Lagoshi to do such a thing. Lewis is a very
very prideful person and wants to project those feelings onto as many people as he can because he comes from a past where he was able to make himself from nothing. And because of his pride, when Lewis suffers a very bad wound to his leg that only continues to get worse as he chooses not to address it as it could cost him his role as the next B-star. But in charge of stage decorations, Lagoshi and Kibi, an anteater and part of the stage crew, go to the gardening club run by none other than Haru to get some plants. But Kibi plays a bit of a wingman role, good job Kibi, and leaves Lagoshi with Haru who Kibi knows the rumors about. Lagoshi, being the purest boy, does not. So Lagoshi tries to ask Haru about her arm and tries to reveal to her that it was he who did it. But being nervous and not being able to get out his words properly, Haru sees this as as an advancement on her sexually, and thus she starts to undress him. But Lagoshi, snapping out of it, catches on and leaves Haru in a blanket, confused. After this, Lagoshi learns about the rumor of Haru from Kibi. On the day of the play, Lewis confronts Lagoshi again about how he's acting. This time, Lagoshi goes even further to put his hand in Lagoshi's mouth, egging him on to bite down. But Lagoshi once again refuses, to which he tells Lewis that his strength is something which makes him unique. It comes naturally to him as he is born with it. Not many other species can be born with that gift because for Lois's species, that kind of strength is something everyone wishes for and desires. But even if they were to obtain it, it could only be be used so much as he can never be quite like the wolf, even with strengths like that. This angers Lewis further, and he leaves. The play goes on as planned, and after it ends and the curtains come down, Lois collapses. He wakes up the next day in a hospital, and it's revealed that he has a fracture in his leg. This leads Lois to ask Bill, a tiger, to fill in for Lewis's role. This in turn means Lagoshi has to fill in for Bill's old role, which, knowing Lagoshi's anxious self, is gonna cause a little bit of issues for him. But in rehearsals, Things seem to go well at the start, except when it doesn't. It's revealed that Bill has been doping, using a vial of rabbit's blood, which Lagoshi confronts him on, but he is overpowered by the stronger Bill, and he's using this, as he says, to take the edge off and calm his nerves. But as the play goes on, the pressure seemingly gets to Bill, who seems to be let down by the fact that Lewis isn't there for him in the crowd. This leads to a real fight on stage between Lagoshi and Bill, as the audience doesn't know whether this is fake or real, and the stage crew is unsure if they should stop the fight or not. This leads to Lewis, who appears on stage to stop the fight between the two. And this leads to Bill to run away off stage and the audience to give them applause, captivated by the stunning performance. The public, never knowing about what happened, and the drama club knows. And so Lagoshi apologizes for instigating the fight, thus ending the drama club arc at episode 5. Picking up with episode 6 is the Meteor Festival arc, which takes up the remaining episodes of the series to episode 12, and where Beastars Season 2 will be picking up from. Starting with this arc, Haru is getting bullied again, and being slut-shamed. But when the fight escalates to physical, Lagoshi intervenes and scares the others off. Haru, though, is not happy, as she doesn't want help from those she slept with, but Lagoshi points out that they never actually did anything anyways, and helps Haru pick up her vase and flowers. This scene is important for Haru to re-establish that while Haru is bullied, she does indeed fight back against her bullies. This is actually a wonderful trait for Haru's character, but as well, this scene shows more interactions between Lagoshi and Haru and their dynamic. So far, it's both very awkward for the two, as Haru really would rather just forget about Lagoshi and Lagoshi wants to get closer to Haru as he is developing a crush on her. It's also worth mentioning that Haru assumes she slept with Lagoshi, meaning she probably doesn't pay much attention to who she's sleeping with and thus probably thinks Lagoshi just wants to sleep with her again. But they decide to actually have lunch together and this may be one of the funniest scenes in all of Beastars. Both of them are, oh my lord, extremely awkward to say the least. And that's, it's this, whew, that may not even do it justice. Haru just wants to leave as her fight or flight instincts are kicking in when she sees Lagoshi's fangs. All the while, Lagoshi is just trying to get up the courage to ask her what her name is. Haru does, though, realize Lagoshi's good intentions when she thinks back to when he ran away, and how that was probably a good thing for him to do. Thus, Haru and Lagoshi become somewhat 
friends after this, though poor Lagoshi, so pure and shy, never gets to ask Haru's name. Enter Juno, another proud wolf, the same as Lagoshi, who sees Lagoshi as a possible love interest and thus tries her best to get the dense Haru loving Lagoshi attention. Juno is a very good character in Beastars, and her crush on Lagoshi is a fantastic way to introduce her character and give her a solid motivation in the anime. My favorite aspect about her, though, is that it's never played up as a love triangle, as from the get-go, it's very it's fairly obvious that Haru and Lagoshi are going to be an item. The reason this still works for Juno though is exactly because we know that she won't, air quotes, win. She's not meant to be with Lagoshi, but instead be introduced and create conflicts and interesting character dynamics so that later on, likely in season 2, her character can change and morph into something else that the story may need. This all leads to another murder being announced in the school, but afterwards Lagoshi joins the members of the drama club where he is taken to a black market. There he witnesses a horrifying old man who is selling his fingers for money. This causes Lagoshi's instincts to go out of control and is then found by Gohen, a panda and a therapist in the black market. Gohen tells Lagoshi that his love for Haru is nothing but an instinct, something he's seen many times before, that he only wishes to devour her. In denial, Lagoshi leaves and over the coming days, he gets closer to Haru while reflecting on what Gohen told him. But as time passes, the feelings Lagoshi has get more complicated as while he's happy to get closer to Haru, he figures out Haru is Lewis's girlfriend, causing a conflict in his poor little noggin. But this causes Lagoshi to want Haru even more as it seems Lewis's words of encouragement from the drama club arc are working, but not in the way that Lewis probably intended. This leads to an argument between Haru, who believes Lagoshi doesn't understand her, as she has to live life knowing there may be no tomorrow. That predators like him simply cannot relate to always being stalked as prey. After this argument, the two go their separate ways, and Haru is kidnapped by a mafia-like group of lions known only as the Shishigumi. Asking Lewis, her boyfriend, for help, Lewis simply ignores the issue entirely, believing she's a lost cause, and as well it would be an inconvenient thing for him to help. This leads to a fight between between the two, and afterwards Lagoshi goes to try and save Haru. While doing so, he runs into Gohen who agrees to help him, but gives warning that sh the Shishigumi are not to be messed with and are extremely dangerous. While this is happening, Haru is being eaten by the Shishigumi until Lagoshi rescues her and uses his beastly instincts to fend off and save Haru. But when the Shishigumi pulls uh, like some guns on Lagoshi, Lewis surprisingly comes in for the save with his own gun and goes bang bang and kills them as Lagoshi Goshi and Haru escape, and Lewis just maniacally laughs, just firing off, bang, bang, die. I imagine that's how it went. I don't remember. It's been a while since I've seen this. After this, Lagoshi and Haru take refuge in a hotel, where Haru reveals she isn't intimidated like she used to be. So Haru decides to make love with Lagoshi, but her instincts as a prey kick in, which keeps him from moving any further as the two decide to go to sleep instead. The next morning, Haru says it's her fault for what happened to him, that all of this was because it was her fault for being captured in the first place, and then her fault again for him sustaining those injuries. At school, Juno confronts Haru for getting together with Lagoshi, and later at the school festival once again, Juno tries to once again get with Lagoshi, but it fails. This leads to the final scene where Lagoshi tells Haru he will overcome the beast within himself so that they can finally be together without having to worry about what he may do to her. Needless to say, Beastar Season 2 is heating up, and I, for one, am excited for the next step in the relationship between Lagoshi and Haru. But as well, what happened to Lewis, and if he survived what happened, at the Shishigumi hideout. Juno, as well being turned down, should be a big turning point for her character, and I have many theories on how she may turn out in the future, with her possibly doing a heel turn and manipulating the relationship between Haru and Lagoshi in the future. But as well, the big one, the tease at the end of a mysterious new character, or wild card, in the next season of Beastars. With all of that being said, before you go, please be sure to subscribe and ring the bell as I will be covering Beastars Season 2 as it airs, and as well, I have plenty of Beastars videos already on my channel. Links in the description for that playlist. So with that being said, if you haven't already, subscribe and ring the bell, like the video, comment down below, what do you think about Beastars Season 1, and how excited are you for Beastars Season 2? I have a Patreon where you can support me there for a dollar, and you can become a channel member and support me for a dollar or $2.99. It really helps me out either way. Way, or you can support me by watching this video with ads or buying some of my merch. I don't get much of a kickback from that, but it's a little bit and every little bit helps. So thanks everybody for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.